you know, I think story is really driven by curiosity, whether it's um, about oneself or about you know, the greater population or, or whatever it is, but stories have been the one thing that have persisted before civilization. I think literature encompasses pop culture, you know, I think it encompasses even simple things like the way that we write, you know, because I love to write, and I think that knowing literature gives you sort of that extra edge, that education, you know, that necessary sort of skill to enhance your writing and make it something really great and smart and relevant. I think literature tends to transcend time and space in a way that nothing else really does. In a way, it's kind of like studying history. The more you know about what's come before, um, the more you know about yourself. We study literature because because we want to find out about ourselves and we want to see ourselves represented. So the reason that we study literature is to find out what it is to be human. People want it and people want to use it. People are, are devouring it. And so when you have something like that happen, you need to have the study of it alongside and you need to have um, a consciousness about the way you proceed Times are progressing and we're sort of needing to acclimate to, you know, Twitter and Facebook and Tumblr and also the, sort of the different technological sort of aspects of literature. It's kind of interesting because it's sort of a, an exploration as well as a continuation of what's already been done before. I don't want literature to sit on a page. I want literature to like get inside my body, to get under my skin. And I want to like take myself and I want to like muck around in it like it's some mud on the ground and I want to dig through it. And I think Shakespeare, for example, I already do that with Shakespeare. When I close analyze with students, that's what we're doing, we're digging in the mud. And what I really want is people to take these interfaces and use them so that we can not only just figuratively dig in Shakespeare's mud, but we can actually like get our hands dirty. It's just really where um, English um, and the written word is really going. I mean, it's not... It's not to say that there isn't still going to be print, but um, more and more um, journals and everything is going all online, and um, I think it's a really good way to stay ahead of the curve in that respect. Traditional literature studies have sort of, you know, maybe not peaked, but they've, they've gone as far as they can in the last hundreds of years, but with digital humanities now, now we get the chance to sort of um, break new ground with it. Nothing is decided, nothing is definitive. There is no pathway yet for it. So we get to kind of create that together 